Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the brand new Sony 18 to 252 millimeter zoom lens for the F3, and also the Sony SR R1 portable recorder. Uh, this is a, a cool package here, so let me go through what I have. Uh, so first is the Sony lens, the uh, 18 to 252. Uh, is a zoom lens designed for the F3. Uh, it, it does have a very long zoom range uh, and it mounts directly onto the F3 mount. So no PL mount here. And with that, it, it communicates directly and is powered by the camera. In fact, I can now use that zoom rocker uh, that I've always had on the F3 but had no use for before. Uh, it is completely servo driven, this lens, which is basically the first out of any super 35 millimeter size sensor, uh, a lens designed for that sensor size. Uh, and it really uh, has some impressive features in terms of that. I mean, I really, uh, having that servo is, is a huge benefit for anyone looking to do uh, ENG type work. Now, there's some caveats to go along with that. As in, it starts at around a T3.8 uh, stop, so it's not the fastest lens in the world. And when I get to the very end of that lens, I'm at a T6.8. So it's a, it has a pretty sp uh, steep drop off throughout that range. And additionally, if I took this little hood off that it comes with, as you can see here, uh, it does have, a little bit of extension as you zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom all the way in and you'll see it will actually extend out a little bit here. Now, uh, this can be a problem for Mapbox, et cetera, so be aware of that. Uh, so this, is, this, this may seem a little bit, a, a lot of caveats for you here, but uh, what I've found is that the, the, the range from 18 to about 100 millimeters is very, very usable and has just about a stop drop off in it. Uh, and in that kind of range, 18 to 100, it's still very good. So uh, I really like that range and the extension amount when I get to about 100 is not that much. You can still use a lot of map boxes with it. And when you go beyond that, 100 to 252, let's say, definitely more of a special application where you really need that length and you're probably gonna be willing to live with the, the, the light loss there. Otherwise, let's just show you the, the actual range of the, the, the lens all the way through. I'll go ahead and record here so you can see. I'll first, I'll go from 18 uh, forward to about um, 100 millimeters. So again, here's 100. So you can see that zoom range is quite nice. And then beyond that, and go all the way into 252. So you may have noticed I have autofocus turned on right now on the lens. It does have autofocus, auto iris, and stabilization options on the side here. So again, first of any kind of lens for this type of sensor camera. And it does even have a wheel uh, like the EX's where I can uh, focus manually or push it forward and it will focus uh, automatically, just like that. Stabilization and all that can be enabled on the side here. Uh, as, in addition, it has a uh, flange focal distance adjustment that you have like on the EX3 where you could um, automatically adjust the flange focal depth of the lens just in the camera menus. It does talk to the camera as well, as I said, and I can control the servo on the top of the handle if I want to or put it on a different button. I can also uh, read the depth of field gauge, the lens info uh, display off the camera. So it works 100% like an EX3, just a little bit beefier. So that's the lens. Let me just rotate around here and I'll show you the, the servo controller so you can see what it all looks like. Uh, here's the, the servo motors in the side there, my zoom rocker up top there. So again, uh, a, a nice range uh, uh, of possibility with this lens. Uh, next, not least though, uh, is my SR R1 recorder. The R1 recorder is a, is a portable recorder, as they call it, a much, much smaller version of an SRW, really, SRW deck, but instead of recording to tape, I'm actually recording to uh, SR memory cards. Here's the memory card unit. Uh, SR memory is a very high-speed memory system uh, designed to handle the SR memory type system, uh, all the different card systems. Uh, and this is the orange version, which means basically that it is a, uh, a lower speed version compared to what you might find in, a, uh, in, in the F65, which has a, a higher speed requirement. So the, the, those versions are a little less expensive and, and, and actually there's a package deal that comes with one of those cards as well. The SR1 uh, gives you the 200, 220 megabit and 440 megabit recording that you get and the tapes. Uh, pretty amazing that way. So it can do up to 440 megabits in uh, 24p uh, or higher frame rates uh, up to uh, 444 in color space. So I have a lot of options. There's a 444 recorder already. If you're already in this, for, in this, in this uh, format on tape, you're gonna love this format. We all know it's the highest quality uh, compression format out there. So again, uh, just, this is the R1 recorder. Oh, by the way, it has the same sort of side panel you might have seen on the R SRW deck, so you're very familiar with the interface. They've added a, uh, a file list option though, so you can see all your files to play back. And if I rotate that around again, 
uh, on this side, you're going to see I have my uh, dual link input, uh, in and out, uh, time code, and analog audio. So uh, very full featured. Uh, I have it hooked up here with the Crozeal piece. It's not included, but you can mount it different ways that way. So that's it for now. The Sony zoom lens, the SRR1, uh, really cool features to the F3. Add a lot of functionality, especially with S-Log onto this guy. Really cool. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.